this came with the land when we bought this property. Uh, he sent us the title, so we have that, but we don't have a truck that can pull that. And he had left the tires, but the tires were stolen. He's been gone four years from this property, and it's, he's been trying to sell it for that time. And we got lucky and got, jumped on it when he just reduced it. It is He has this hooked up to the well and septic system. So we've been coming out here clean after cleaning up the place. We've been using, we've slept out here, spent weekends out here. It's been really, really wonderful. It's been so peaceful. Really like it. There's another concrete pad, and there's some plumbing that he's got over there. You can see where the PVC pipes are sticking up near the dirt mound. I think he was going to put another bathroom. I don't know why he was doing that when he also had that other concrete pad, but our sun is pretty much... This is going to be our retreat and eventually guest house for company. Um, and we're going to be using that until we get the second story done to where we can um, roof over and wall in the bathroom for our future home. But this other concrete slab, my son wants to build a little cabin, I guess, for himself here with the help of family and friends. It's already plumbed out for additional stuff. A bathroom, that's a drain. And we had a lot of the dirt, there was a, there wasn't much, a, a car would fit through, not, um, th fit through here, but a big truck pulling a trailer wouldn't have been able to come through here. So this is the work we've had someone do this past weekend. He's done a great job. He's been very helpful. Previous owner ran a lot of stuff through here. The septic system is actually the next tier down. If you can see the the square that's cut out over there, we had uh, DHEC come out here and check and approve our septic system. Can't remember why we did that. There was something that we had to another loophole that they make you jump through. And you can see the. I don't know if you can see the school bus through the trees right there. There's a small school bus from 1960-something that we also got the title to that was just here. He learned. We learned from a neighbor that he was actually living in that for a while. And I would like to make a, like a playhouse or maybe even a root cellar if the kids don't want the playhouse. <laughs> but it's already set up with the table and the benches are already, fa you know, one faces backwards. And this is going to be our home. So just walking down from the camper, we'll be, I'll be going back and forth a lot in the very near future. I'm just trying to picture everything. I'm just kind of, wow, this is happening. The well is right there. We've been moving my gardening stuff. I didn't do much gardening, but so I've been moving st stuff here. And the guys have been, oh, my bird bath. I didn't even know you brought that out here. So, uh, the guys have been coming out here hunting. My son got a deer last weekend, his first. And he got a nice, it was a cow buck or a spike buck. I'm not sure which is the proper name, but it's the kind you want to cull out of the herd. You don't want it breeding or interfering, taking up space. But it was a good 100 pounds, so... We've been eating off of that. Anyway, pray for us. See all the brick? I don't know if you can see the cinder block a little further out from that. It's gray. <laughs> but those cinder blocks are really, really thick. So I know that they could hold up a corner of a shipping container. Thanks for watching.